A Dallas council member proposed a $7 million cut to police overtime, and he's getting some support, but not everyone agrees on how to trim the city's budget. Fox 4's Stephen Dial spoke to the mayor, and he joins us live. Stephen. Clarice, the Dallas city budget won't be approved until late September, but starting this week, budget talks will heat up as there are multiple opinions on how police funding should be allocated. The spotlight on public safety funding in the city of Dallas has grown larger in recent months. This, as the budget is projected, to be tight because of coronavirus impacts on revenue. This year is going to require us to make some hard decisions. It's going to require us to think a little bit bold, and it's going to uh, require us to um, maybe go against the grain a little bit. Violent crime is up in Dallas. 2020 is on track to match the record-breaking murder rate from last year. The solution to fixing the crime problem is mixed in City Hall. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson wants a pay cut for 10% of city employees. A 25% pay cut would impact city employees that make more than $200,000 a year. That includes the city manager, who presented his budget to council earlier this month. We have people who are assistant city managers who make more than the governor. And we have a city manager who makes more than the president. So there's plenty of room to cut salaries that won't make anyone destitute, won't make anyone homeless, and will generate the revenue that we need to fund the priorities of the people of Dallas. So I'm for defunding the bureaucracy, not defunding the police. Mayor Johnson says the $6.5 million saved from the pay cuts would add to public safety initiatives. The violence interruption program that I proposed funding in my budget amendment, plus putting more officers on the streets by hiring civilians to do desk jobs and taking officers who are doing desk jobs and putting them on the streets, plus restoring the cuts to the squad cars that our city manager recommended, plus more lateral hiring of experienced police officers that don't need to go through the police academy. That combination of things will address what happened this weekend. Councilman Adam Balzodua has a different approach. He wants to get rid of the mounted patrol, cut police overtime by $7 million, among other proposed cuts. How can you fight this violent year when you're reducing police funding? How would you respond to that? When we have more than hundred of uh, more than a hundred of our current uniformed officers uh, behind desks or doing various tasks that do not help our response time and do not respond to crime um, in our communities, uh, again, you know, there's context that's that's not being brought up here. Basil Dua says he's getting close to a majority support on the council, but Deputy Mayor Pro Tem Adam Magoo says a cut that large can make crime in the city worse. Addressing a specific area where violent crime is taking place, or um, more recently when you have drag racing and some things downtown or other areas, we're, we're getting, I'm getting personally uh, requests all the time for additional resources, specifically around police officers, to address certain areas of problem. And when you don't have the resource of using overtime to deploy in those areas, you're not able to adequately ad ad address it. A lot of opinions, a ballot budget has to be passed legally. The talks will begin starting on Wednesday. Clarice.